If you play video games even passively, you've probably seen that name thrown around within the industry. The man is notorious for his style of storytelling and game direction, and his name is attached to the IP of Metal Gear so firmly that every single time the publisher has ever tried to have a game developed without his involvement, it either fails colossally, i.e. Snake's Revenge or Metal Gear Survive, or the fans petition so hard to get him back that the studio and Kojima himself eventually just acquiesce. Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3, Metal Gear Solid 4. Kojima was heavily involved with Revengeance, so it doesn't count. This has been the case since the first game in the franchise released. No, not that one, we're not there yet. That one. In the early to mid 80s, Kojima joined Konami to work on developing a video game to be released for the MSX home computer. Kojima and his team envisioned an action game called Metal Gear. 